what is going on everybody i hope everybody's having a beautiful day today no matter where you're at we're in oklahoma and uh, we still haven't had rain and going on like two weeks now so in this video um we are going to show you a way that we're going to uh help our uh, feeder pigs out we're gonna take something that we just got and we're gonna go put some water in their pond and we're gonna see how long the water we put in there the other day lasted the day we built the pond and uh, ever since I got off work today, I've been busy. We kind of waited to do this video this evening. It's later in the evening, and uh, since it's cooler now. But anyways, I've been hauling hay. Not that far. Luckily, our neighbor just right down the road uh, has a good uh, hay field. Has a lot of lespediza, a lot of fescue, and a lot of the... I don't even know what all is in it, but a lot of weeds and stuff that these goats really like. A lot of nutritious stuff. And uh, the first cutting of hay always has more weeds in it. And it seems like the uh, hay that we get for the goats, if we get any that is like a second or third cutting, they don't like it as well as the first cutting. Because the first cutting always has more weeds. So we got 11 bales. Last year we only got 6. Which I think this year we have less goats as well. So hopefully this should uh, get us by. You never know what kind of winter you're going to have or when you might get a, another load of uh, animals. But anyways, Rachel's out here with me and we are going to, as soon as we go take care of the pigs and go feed the pigs and everything, uh, we got a pool cover that my parents gave us. They have to get a new one. I think it had a rip in it or something. But they asked us if we wanted this pool cover to cover our hay this year. So I got them kind of stacked right here because like on a uh, underground swimming pool, you know how they're kind of, well, they're all different, but... In this case, in ground, underground, <laughs> same thing. Anyways, their pool is more of like a long rectangle shape. So I kind of stacked this hay a uh, long way so we can uh, hopefully get this tarp to fit. So we're going to try to do that. But uh, first, I want to talk about something here. I got a different t-shirt on from another channel. But first, I want to talk about something else they sent us. So Rachel is holding this here. Clear Creek Farm quality over quantity. And guys, this is pure Michigan maple syrup. So this is some maple syrup they made there on their farm. And I'll let Rachel hold this camera so I can show you the shirt. They actually sent us like five shirts. They sent me one, Rachel one, and the kids one. And I guess Mojo one, because I think there was an extra one. But anyways, they got a cool looking logo. They're another goat channel. And uh, they actually raised, I think the message he sent me was, we raise 40 head of boar goats, and I think they're mostly show goats, but they raise them on three acres. I don't know how they do it, but uh, that's awesome that they can do that. And uh, if you guys are interested, go check them out. Like I say in all the other videos, when you guys send us t-shirts, because Rachel loves t-shirts. <laughs> She's the one that loves t-shirts. I like them too, don't get me wrong. But if you guys send us a t-shirt and you have a channel that you post on or some kind of business or whatever you want to get a little bit of a... Uh, a shout out for we will give you a little short shout out so uh guys this was awesome yeah we we just sampled it and it was awesome this is awesome so uh guys do us a favor go check out clear creek farm go watch their channel if you like what you see subscribe to them tell them hidden heights farm since you leave a comment on one of their videos we'd greatly appreciate it now let's get down to these pigs because the mama pigs are hungry and the baby pigs just started i just noticed the other day like two days ago when i was feeding them the babies are starting to eat the grain too so we'll have to make them a little pile on their own but uh i know jabba and the rest of the star wars crew down there are getting hot <laughs> let's go see if they still have any water in their pond and uh let's add some we're supposed to get a little rain this weekend but i think there's only like a 20 percent chance so we're going to go ahead and uh take this container that we got down here and give them some more water uh you guys seen in one of the last videos where we made the pond i was filling up the barrels and uh that's for the birds i don't want to do that again so we got something different we're gonna walk over here and show you guys all right guys so we're over here got the backhoe the kubota m59 backhoe and what we got here is a brand new 250 gallon stock tank or i don't know what you call this thing it's just a tote. No, it ain't a little stock tank. Water tote. It's a tote. It's a chemical tote, water tote. Uh, a lot of companies like Coca-Cola, uh, Little Debbie, places like that, they get a lot of their ingredients and stuff in here. This is a food grade, so it's never had anything in it. No chemical, no sugar, nothing. And it's got this little spout down here, a little valve. I know you guys have seen them, but I've never seen a brand new one. 
But well, we just picked this up. I mean, we're big time now. We get a brand new one. Yeah. So we picked this up. It was sixty-five dollars. But we can actually use this. We can keep it in our shop and store water in it and whatever. We already got one in there with like 250 gallons of water in there that we store just for emergency wise. But now we got another one just in case we got a haul water. You know, we can take this down to the creek. We can get a pump, fill it up, whatever. It's going to come in handy. So what we're going to do, um, this is 250 gallons. So this is going to be about 2,000 pounds of weight. That I'm gonna have to try to pick up with this tractor. Hopefully it'll do it. She can do it. I just hauled all the hay bales over here, no problem, and they're still green. They were just bailed today, and uh, like I said, it's supposed to rain tonight, so we're gonna try to get them covered, and uh, that way they don't ever get wet. So, anyways, we're gonna get this down there. I'm gonna go grab some hog feed, and uh, we'll go get Java a new uh, spa. <laughs> <laughs> dinner time you little girls and boys want some dinner huh I need to make them a pile this time so they're uh, their own place to eat. Tell them you getting hungry girl uh, get really. out there, boy. stealing your food Ew, what are you doing <laughs> all right let's see if these little babies want to eat. I'm gonna put the babies on the ground. Come here, babies. You better put it. Never mind. They'll find it. Butterball. You just walked right past it, boy or girl. They get in there and eat with their mamas, but I wanted to make their own little pile. They don't eat much right now because they're still drinking milk. And these goats can't hardly stand it so they can't get no food. I do feed them a little bit here and there just to get, kind of get them tamed up a little so they'll come to me. Butterball wants some food. Maybe your mama will share with you. There's a the little boy pig. So guys, I did. Uh, I just listed these pigs for sale, and uh, I got them listed on Craigslist and on a couple of Facebook groups. But you got to be careful on Facebook because they don't really allow the sale of animals. So it's weird how how you do it. So if anyone around here is interested, you can send us an email or send us a Facebook message, and uh, we'll try to answer them. But let's uh, go see how Java and them's doing. I'll have Rachel open the gate, and we'll drive this in, and I'll pull over. Uh, you gotta watch out for old bucket head. I gotta hang this bucket up here. Don't need no, don't need L getting a bucket stuck on his head again.
pick, pick, pick. Come on, buddy. Here comes my buddy, fluffy ears and all. Hurry! Come on, Java. All right, guys. So this has been four whole days now, and you can see there is about an ounce of water left in here. So we got perfect timing. So uh, I'm gonna crack this valve. Hurry up! Here comes Java. Yep. He wants to play in the water for us. Still got the seal on it. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't like that. Either. All right, we're going to let this fill up. So Rachel wants Java to lay down, so. I might not want to lay down on the hill. I want to lay in the grass. Usually, lays right down. Usually. Usually, he's in the grass. Guys, look how big these Berkshires are getting now. They are filling out great. They ain't quite caught up to Java, but... I think he's ready to go swimming. <laughs> yeah, they've been taking... Look, look at him. They wear a coat now. Coat of mud. This one. And that protects them from bugs, parasites, protects them from the sun. They're gonna make a mud slide. Yeah, pretty much is what they do. <laughs> Rachel said they're making a mud slide. They said, Where's the diving board? <laughs> you guys and girls <laughs> don't knock the rocks in there. What are you all doing? What do you think of that, Java? I don't know that. What is it? Huh? I don't have no tree. What are you doing? Oh, you buddy. It's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> too cold? Huh? Is it too cold? Okay, we got all the water drained and uh, they just want to take a little nap over here in this dust. But let's take a look at the pond real quick. You guys can see, got quite a bit more water in it than it had the other day from just the barrels. So hopefully this will last a little bit and uh, hopefully it'll rain tonight or this weekend. Uh, the garden's needing some rain. We do have the irrigation system set up, but nothing replaces rain. Rain is awesome for everything. In good amounts. We don't want a torrential downfall like we usually get in, around here. But anyways, I'm just going to see if these guys can get in there for us. But I think they're busy napping. I see Butterball still way over there eating dinner. That's a butterball right there. Butterball don't miss a meal. That's why her name is Butterball. Yep. You guys gonna get in the pond or not? Everybody wants to see y'all swim. Come on, get in there. They said it's too cold for them. Yeah, I think the water's too cold. Chaba, scratch my belly. I'll scratch your ear. Ain't getting all dirty. It ain't getting all muddy, bud. He loves it. He's all sprawled out now. Uh oh, in here. Let's see if he's doing anything. Yep. I said water. Nice and cold water. Straight out of the ground. That'll cool them off. Aw, <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> 
All right guys, so as much as uh, we want to sit here and watch these pigs play and be all cute and all that, like I said, we we're hoping for rain tonight and we just got all this hay bailed today and put up and uh, we don't have a nice big hay barn to put it all in. So we're going to get back up here and get busy before it gets dark and uh, get that pool cover stretched out and hopefully we can figure it out and uh, get it to cover these hay bales. So anyways, just wanted to update you guys on the pig pond. All right, so we got the two rows of hay covered. We got 11 total bells there. And we recycled a uh, used pool cover. And it actually came out just perfect for the amount of hay bells we had. I think we could have put one more on there probably and uh, still had full coverage. So that's awesome. Uh, we got it tied down. We'll see how that works. We might have to uh, put some other bungees on there and something else to tie it down a little better, but. It worked. Yeah, I feel good about it. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for yeah, the recycled pool cover. Now we don't have to go buy one of them expensive, cheap tarps. These are actually pretty good made, but I think they've had this one for like, I don't know, a long time, and it's starting to get some rips and stuff in it. So, uh... It worked. Yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah, I'm thirsty. So, now what? You got anything to say? You always ask me that. We want to say thank you to Clear Creek Farms again. Thanks for all the t-shirts. Thanks for the maple syrup. Homemade Michigan maple syrup. Homemade Michigan maple syrup. Really that good. is a first for us. So we appreciate you guys sending that to us. Like Kevin said, please go check out their channel and tell them that we sent you. All right, guys. So uh, we're going to call this video done. 
Uh, we got a lot accomplished. We got the hay moved up here. We got the hay covered. We got the feeder pigs all settled in their new spa. <laughs> so Jabba and friends. Mud yeah, it's mud spa. Jabba and friends can be comfortable. Um, I need to get some panels made up. Some like sorting panels or corral panel type, you know, out of some hog panels and some one inch steel frame. I'm talking to a welder locally here. Going to see if we can't work something out that way. We can have a little bit of better setup over there in the feeder pen so when it's time to work with them you know if we got to check them or whatever and time to load them to take them to the butcher that won't be so hard so anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment leave a comment hopefully it's a positive one but we like the comments and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video guys Thanks, guys